my channel, Stove Top Yum Yum. Today, we're going to do something a little different. Tonight is cheat night, so tonight is something very simple and very fun, okay? Let me ask you all this. Who likes chicken strips? Raise your hand if you like chicken strips. I thought so. Okay, today I have a twist on chicken strips. Today, we are not going to use chicken breast. We are going to use, I will show you, I chopped it up here, and I will show you. We're gonna use thin strips of pork loin, which is the other white meat. So I'm gonna wash my hands, and I'm gonna show you what I have here, and I'm gonna show you my breading station, and I'll be back, don't go away. All right, I'm back, and I'm excited today. Because not only is tonight a cheat night, but these this is a very simple dinner. It's the night before Mother's Day, and of course my husband's birthday is on Mother's Day. So tomorrow I have to work a little bit in the morning, and then spend the rest of the day with my husband, my son, as the mom that I am, and as the birthday boy that he will be. Now, first thing I'm going to show you is the, the strips, the pork loin. The pork loin, what I did was... I took probably five little steaks of pork loin, cut it into about a quarter of an inch in strips. I put in there a tablespoon of white vinegar and a tablespoon of lemon juice and left it in there for about an hour. I bet you, do you guys know why? You, you do from our previous videos. Because the acid in the vinegar and the acid in the lemon will tenderize meat. So keep in mind, chicken breast as well as pork loin are very, uh, can become very dry. So as part of using the vinegar and the lemon, the acid in that will help with that. Now to go along with our pork loin strips, before I show you my breading station, I have prepared, I'll meet you over here in the stove so you can see what's going to go along with it. So you can go... Wow, that looks delicious. Okay, as promised, we've got cinnamon rolls and we've got jumbo flaky biscuits. So we're going to have biscuits with our pork loin, which is right here. Here's our breading station. Now keep in mind, first plate is regular AP flour, all-purpose flour, and you're going to put a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. Now don't forget, we're building layers here, you guys. The only thing I didn't put spices in was the eggs. I have two eggs that I have uh, stirred up with two tablespoons of milk. You're probably wondering, milk? Yes, there's acid in milk. The more acid you have in dry meat, the juicier your meat will be. And when you're breading something, you should always use panko breadcrumbs. That will make your meat, excuse me, that will make your strips juicy as well. Whether you're using chicken breast or pork loin strips, I'm doing a little different take on it today. So now write this down. I'll have it in the drop down menu. In my panko breadcrumbs, I've got a teaspoon of onion powder, teaspoon of garlic powder, teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of cayenne, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of oregano, and a teaspoon of cumin. Why? Because I never cook pork without cumin. It just, it's just a marriage made in heaven. It's just absolutely delicious. I will have it in the drop down menu. I hope I didn't say it too fast, but I'll have it in the drop down menu. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna uh, start breading these beautiful strips. And once I bread these strips, then we'll go from there. Okay guys, here's my drench station. Now the first thing we're gonna do is, of course we're gonna wash our hands, mine are nice and clean. I'm gonna grab a strip. If you have gloves and you prefer to use gloves, that's fine. Because you get these, uh, I call them gorilla hands, where you get these thick hands full of flour. We'll be washing my hands in between. So I'm going to probably get two or three strips, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to bread it. Then we are going to dunk it in the egg. Then we are going to dunk it in our panko. So delicious, you guys. Oh my God, this is so good. Such a yummy, yummy dinner. I can bake these, but it's a cheat cheat night, so I'm going Cuban style. I'm going to fry them. So, All right, you guys, this is what they look like. All right, isn't that beautiful? So I'm going to start piling these on my plate, and when I come back, you'll see all of them drenched and all of them on the plate, 
and we will take it from there because these strips are going to be refrigerated for about 30 minutes. We're going to let them set. We're going to let the panko set so that way when you're frying it, it the panko breadcrumbs, the breading will not fall off the piece of meat. So join me. I'll be back. I'm going to keep dredging these and we'll be right back with this plate full of delicious pork loin chicken strips. You don't want to miss it, you guys. Still breading, you guys. I came back. Tomorrow's Mother's Day. I'm so excited. My husband's going to be 49 tomorrow. I don't want him to hear me saying that on camera. He won't mind, but just in case. So I'm breading these. So I hope you guys all have good plans tomorrow for Mother's Day. And, uh, there's not much we can do, you know, we're in quarantine right now, just to stay safe, and I just feel blessed, you know, I feel blessed that, I don't know, that we're safe, and I feel very blessed, I've always felt blessed, and I'll tell you that it's not gonna be, you know, Mother's Day is not good for all, you know, some of us have our loved ones that have passed on to heaven, and, you know, and it's hard, but, you know, we still love our loved ones, even though they're in heaven. Love them more every day. My mother-in-law's in heaven, and I still love her every day. My grandmother's in heaven, and I loved her. Love her every day. So, she's my inspiration for this cooking channel. When I was young, she used to always say, they didn't have YouTube when I was young, guys, just by the way. And uh, she used to always say, hey, she used to always say, you're going to be a great chef one day. She said, but I don't know because you're left-handed. Every time I get close to the stove when I was with her, she would uh, get really nervous because I was stirring things with my left hand. So it's kind of confusing because she wasn't left-handed and it, it looks kind of awkward when you're, when you're young and you're stirring. So she was afraid I would burn myself or get grease. But I learned so much from her. I have so many things that I can't wait to make for you on my channel. So you can see, actually think Maybe you actually thought it was so it was so difficult when in actuality it's really not. A lot of things are really not. It's time consuming. You have to, you know, have fun in your kitchen. You know, some of us, you know, have time with your hubby or with your kids and, you know, grab your beer, your wine, have a little wine, make a fun dinner together. I mean, I have my, my one of my little cousins, which recently got married and has her little home and she's so cute. She puts all her little stories on all the foods that they make and they, how they grill and she's learning too. She's on, she actually subscribed to my channel and watches all my tips and tricks and that's why I love to do this because I, I love to share what I know and I love to, uh, and I love to cook of course. So now what I'm going to do is I'm almost done with this but I don't know if you guys remember that I mentioned before about the Gorilla Hands. I use gloves sometimes, it's, it makes it more convenient, so I don't feel like I can run the whole set with, with the whole set of strips, I can run them without having to wash my hands. I don't know about you guys, I can't stand that lumpiness of the flour and the panko and all that stuff. So now that we've talked a little bit about uh, our Mother's Day tomorrow and quarantine, I am almost done with my strips. Once I'm done with my strips, I will be back. I'm going to put my strips, I'm going to show you what they look like before I put them in the fridge and we'll let them set for about 30 minutes so that way when we fry them, the breading will stick to the meat. So don't go anywhere, I will be back. Now this is what our chicken pork loin strips look like. They remind me of something I used to make with my grandmother when I was little, I would help her. She also had a station set up to make it. And it was called, I'm sure you guys know, it's called croquetas. And in English, they're called croquettes. She'd make them Cuban style. She'd grind the ham. She'd make them from ham. Oh, my God. And they were so delicious. This is what this reminds me of. I think of her every time I make homemade chicken strips because of the breading. And they didn't have uh, panko breadcrumbs uh, back in the late 70s when I was young. She would just use flour and she would use cracker meal. She would use crackers that were ground up like powder. It's called galleta molida That's what she would use for that. So I'm going to run over and I'm going to put these in the fridge for 30 minutes so they can set. Because, come on guys, after all the work we did, 
or after all the work you're gonna do trying this recipe, do you really wanna put this in a pan of oil to fry it real quick and have all the breading come off? I don't think so. I don't think you do. No, I don't. So let me run over behind me to the fridge over there. I'm gonna throw these babies in the fi fridge for 30 minutes and I'll meet you at the stove when they're ready. Don't go away, you don't wanna miss it. I'm back, you guys. I'm heating up my oil, probably have about half an inch of oil. These strips are cold and they're not thick, so we don't really need that much oil. And I forgot to mention before to let you guys know that uh, I'm very vegan friendly and I say it in all my videos. Uh, this is this recipe, if you don't want to use pork or you don't eat meat, making these strips out of tofu is absolutely delicious. I've tried it. You can actually not use chicken and use tofu or pork and it would be absolutely delicious as well. So my oil's here on my stove. My stove's on high right now and I'm just letting it go to temperature, the oil. Now I use vegetable oil and I'll tell you why. I use olive oil a lot. Olive oil is a lot healthier as they say, but when you're frying, you can't. The reason being is the darker the oil, the less heat resistant it is. So if you were to fill this pan with olive oil right now to fry your pork loin strips, there's a good chance that your kitchen could catch on fire. Your frying pan, excuse me, not your kitchen, your frying pan. It's because the darker the oil, the less resistant it is to heat. So the, the lighter the oil, the clearer like vegetable, canola, it's more heat resistant. It'll resist the heat more. So that's why when we're doing something like this and we're frying, if I'm making uh, an Italian salad, I'll always use extra virgin olive oil. I'll use olive oil a lot of times when I'm making eggs in the morning. I'll say like a little tablespoon and then we'll add some butter to make it a little bit of butter to make it richer. Or if we just want to use olive oil, I've uh, done that with egg white omelets in the past and I also do it when I make spinach. But we're just drizzling some olive oil while we're cooking. We don't have half an inch of oil in our pan because it's not safe. And I just want to let you know that from, I've never had a, an issue because I've never used it. You're probably wondering why I have my hand over here and it's starting to get nice and hot. So we're gonna, when you feel it hot, a little warm and hot on your hand, drop your temperature to medium because remember, these are not, this is not chicken breast. It'll cook probably very much as fast as chicken breast but you still don't want your heat too high, not even with chicken breast, because the panko will burn quick if you have it too high. So let's get our first baby out of here, nice and cold, and we're gonna drop it in the oil. Ooh, you hear that sizzle? See that? So let's do a couple more. Now we don't wanna overcrowd our frying pan because remember, as I mentioned in my last video, you will take heat away from the pan if you crowd it too much. So I don't mind, I'll sit here and uh, do maybe small ones. I'll fill my pan up. Let's say, why don't we do, let's do this. Let's do perfect. One, two, we have a small one here, two small ones. So one, two big ones, four big ones and two small ones. So let's say five and we'll keep it here. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna walk over here and I'm gonna grab a plate and I'm gonna grab some napkins. So that way, once our chicken strips are done, we can go ahead and put them on a paper towel. So that paper towel will absorb any oil that's left on there. So this is absolutely, I love this little copper pot. I've never used it before. And uh, it cleans really well, works really well. I really like it a lot. So I'm gonna keep frying these. And when I come back, I'm going to show you what my husband's plate's going to look like on this incredible cheat night because I mean, come on you guys, we got these huge flaky biscuits. You only do this, I mean we only do this on a cheat night, I only do this on a cheat night. And a cinnamon roll for dessert, yeah they're canned and uh, they're canned cinnamon rolls and canned biscuits. I didn't make any homemade biscuits or, I, which I can and I have in the past. But for tonight, we're just gonna make it nice, simple, uh, delicious, fun, and it's gonna be a great cheat night. 
And I'm also going to show you how we're going to use, we have some cayenne, if you remember, in our panko. So our strips are not going to be over spicy, but they will have some spice to them. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a little bit of strawberry jam in our biscuits, very minimal. And I'll show you that. So that way, the sweetness of the jam will definitely counteract with the heat of the strip. And it'll be, oh my gosh, it'll be like, it'll, it'll be a festival in your mouth. So when I come back, our strips will be done. I'm going to plate. I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'm going to taste them. And you don't want to miss it. Okay, guys. So I right put, took my chicken strips out. Heated my oil. As I mentioned before, I use vegetable oil. I explained why. Now, the thing is that, oh, this cable, I apologize for this, you guys. I'm not a professional camera woman, just a home chef. Probably when you put your heat on medium, I just turned them. So you probably wait like three minutes and you turn and turn. So we're gonna wait, we're gonna leave them alone though. We don't want to play with them too much. We have to let them fry on one side and carefully flip them over. But as you can see, let me bring it closer so you can see it, you guys. As you guys can see, look how nice and whole that is. No breading is falling off or anything. So as I mentioned, refrigerate them for 30 minutes because you do not want a pile of breadcrumbs in your oil because you do not want to pile breadcrumbs in your oil. So I'm going to finish these babies, put them on a plate. I'm going to come back and <laughs> what a cheat night tonight. Mm, just, make your belly, just make your belly go, wow, thank you. <laughs> Everybody loves cheat night. I'll be back, guys. Stick around. Don't now go I away. I have my pan hot, my strips in there, my vegetable oil. One thing I forgot to mention is... When you have, when you're bringing your oil up to temperature and you put it on a high, let it go up to temperature. Don't drop it to medium. Drop it to like two below high. Let's make it a little bit higher because we don't want our strips to be drenched in the fat. We just want to call. We want to do what I call, since they're thin, I call it flash frying. We just want to fry, fry, fry. Kind of like uh, it's so thin, it's so small, a quarter of an inch thick. The actual strips that it's kind of like, not as fast as frying plantains, but almost as fast. And you don't want all that fat soaking. So just food for thought on that one. I apologize, I did say medium, and now I take that back and say let's keep it on medium high. Woo, babies are looking so beautiful. Look at this. Look at how beautiful that's looking. In the meantime, while I'm finishing this recipe and finish my strips, if you have any questions, of course. Okay, you guys, I'm back. Oh my God, I'm so excited. All right, these are the strips. Look how beautiful those are. Do those look like, they look like fish sticks, kind of. Aren't those beautiful? Oh my God. I'm gonna show you how juicy this is. Oh my God. I need to show you how juicy this is. Sorry about that. Me and my little camera things. Okay, anyway, here we go. I grab a strip. Keep in mind, you guys, any strip. Keep in mind, you can use dipping sauces if you want with this. I'm telling you, my husband and I love blue cheese. And I used, today, strawberry jam inside the biscuit to counteract the heat. I'll only eat one biscuit. They'll eat two, so can't really overdo it. But... And I promise to uh, eat this delicious cinnamon roll later. Okay, guys, you ready? Oh, God help me. Okay, you ready? I'm going to show you this, how juicy. I'm going to dip it in a little bit of blue cheese. That's what I like. You don't have to have any sauces. You have your jam, but... This reminds me of the video bulb of the video. You see the link up above of the three bean chili that I made. 
that it makes you want to do the cha cha. You guys saw that video, you guys. In terms of lemon, the acid, a little bit of heat, and the panko, and it's so juicy that it fills your mouth up with water. Believe it or not, it's a little hot. Let me take a little bite of this. Hey guys, can't go wrong with the store-bought biscuit. And when I make my video, making homemade biscuits of how easy it is, you won't go wrong either. Mm. Hold on, you guys. Sorry. Oh my God. So good. Juicy. And don't forget, if you're not a meat eater, you can use tofu. It's, it's delicious. If you like my video, guys, make sure you hit the like button. And if you already have subscribed to my channel, thank you. And if you haven't, please subscribe. And don't forget the notification bell. And I'll notify you of all my videos to come. Listen, you guys. Tonight... This belly right here tonight is going to be so happy when it goes to bed. We use fry our loin strips, have our little cinnamon roll, our little biscuit with a little bit of jam. Yeah, I put a little bit to dip of the blue cheese. My husband likes it and so do I. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. And next time we will have another great recipe for stovetop yum yum. Tonight was cheat night. So I hope you guys enjoy it and the recipe. It's very simple and I will have it in the drop down menu. Take care you guys as always. Love you guys. Au revoir. Adios. Los quiero. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay you guys I'm back. Oh my god I'm so excited. Alright. These are the strips. Look how beautiful those are. Do those look like, they look like fish sticks, kind of. Aren't those beautiful? Oh my God. I'm gonna show you how juicy this is. Oh my God. I need to show you how juicy this is. Sorry about that. Me and my little camera things. Okay, anyway, here we go. You grab a strip. Keep in mind, you guys, any strip. Keep in mind, you can use dipping sauces if you want with this. I'm telling you, my husband and I love blue cheese. And I used today strawberry jam inside the biscuit to counteract the heat. I'll only eat one biscuit, they'll eat two, so can't really overdo it. But, and I promise to uh, eat this delicious cinnamon roll later. Okay, guys, you ready? Oh, God, help me. Okay, you ready? I'm going to show you this, how juicy. I'm going to. Dip it in a little bit of blue cheese. That's what I like. You don't have to have any sauces. You have your jam, but. Oh my God. This reminds me of the video of the video. You see the link up above of the three bean chili that I made? That it makes you want to do the cha-cha. You guys saw that video? You guys, in terms of lemon, the acid, a little bit of heat, and the panko, and it's so juicy that it fills your mouth up with water, believe it or not. It's a little hot. Let me take a little bite of this. Hey guys, can't go wrong with the store-bought biscuit. And when I make my video, making homemade biscuits of how easy it is, you won't go wrong either. Mm. Hold on, you guys. Sorry. Oh my God. So good. Juicy. And don't forget, if you're not a meat eater, 
You can use tofu. It's, it's delicious. If you like my video, guys, make sure you hit the like button. And if you already have subscribed to my channel, thank you. And if you haven't, please subscribe. And don't forget the notification bell. And I'll notify you of all my videos to come. Listen, you guys. Tonight, this belly right here tonight is going to be so happy when it goes to bed. We use fried our loin strips. Have our little cinnamon roll, our little biscuit with a little bit of jam. Yeah, I put a little bit to dip of the blue cheese. My husband likes it, and so do I. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. And next time, we will have another great recipe for stovetop yum yum. Tonight was cheat night. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And the recipe, it's very simple, and I will have it in the drop-down menu. Take care, you guys, as always. Love you guys. Au revoir. Adios. Los quiero. I love you guys. I'll see you soon.